Hey guys, I've got another unusual game controller for you. This is a mouse that you control with the tip of your tongue. So it's got a, a plastic sort of retainer kind of housing that sticks up to the top of the roof of the mouth. And then moving the tongue across the sensor is just like moving your finger across the sensor of an optical mouse. So like this. So oh, let me tell you about the details. I built this mouse by taking apart a trackball and in the trackball there was like a separate circuit board that housed the actual optical sensor and a short ribbon cable that went from that board to this main board and what I did is basically just put a longer piece of wire in there so it's got the same optical sensor as the original trackball had and this is the USB cable leaving from here going to the computer. The one thing that I did change that's uh, kind of interesting is that the light in the original uh, device was red, or actually I think it was infrared, and I changed it to green because the red or infrared illumination uh, absorbed too easily into the tongue. So to get good contrast on things moving on the surface, I switched to green light. Also, I added a little bit of plastic on top of this optical assembly so that if you put something flush on here and move it across the focal plane of the optical sensor is set up to be right at the surface of this plastic. Otherwise, uh, with most optical mice, there's air between the mouse pad surface and the top of the lens, or the, or the bottom of the lens. So if you just pushed your finger down into an optical sensor, uh, you'd be past the focal plane, you'd be too close, and no movement would be detected. This hack is mostly just to test the idea of using a cursor with the tongue, and so I added a little button here just for uh, you know, just because it was so easy to do it, but really I'm mostly interested in figuring out what kind of precision you can actually get by moving your tongue. And what I found out is that uh, for precise XY movements like cursor control on the screen, this is probably not going to work. You just don't have quite the level of precision needed uh, that you do with like hands and fingers to do precise pointing. However, what might work pretty well is to do uh, swiping type movements. So on a uh, a UI specifically designed for swiping up and down or left and right, you could probably pretty reliably and effectively and easily do that with the tongue, and you wouldn't really need super high XY positioning that, like you would need for a, a Windows type interface. The wire is pretty intrusive, and so I also did a quick experiment with this, which is a wireless mouse. This is a little uh, ring mouse made by a company called Genius. And the idea was that you would, you know, put it on your finger like this, and it had a, uh, it had an optical window over here that you could slide your finger across. So what I did was uh, take all that apart, and unfortunately I'm missing the lens now, but I put all of this into a sealed bag. Um, it's even got the LiPo battery and everything on there. And inside the bag I put a, a lens glued onto it so that this whole thing could go into the mouth inside this thermoplastic uh, retainer. So as you can see, just doing normal tasks in a Windows type environment uh, is quite difficult with this mouse. Um, I'm showing you this uh, image of the screen being controlled in real time so you can see how much difficulty I'm actually having uh, controlling the icons. One additional difficulty is that the uh, trackball X and Y axes uh, did not map to the X and Y sort of layout of the mouth. So if you think side to side, just because of the shape of this sensor, uh, it turns out that side to side ended up being fore and aft in the mouth. So I'm using a program called Auto Hotkey to swap the X and Y axes of the mouse input. Here's some footage of me playing an FPS game with uh, using WASD to move around but not using the mouse at all for uh, direction control and it would be basically pretty much impossible to play this way. Uh, the precision needed for aiming and shooting at targets in a game like this is just far more than you can really do. But like I say, for, uh, for swiping and for sort of gross movements like you might use with uh, like a hat switch or something on a joystick, there could be some possibilities there. One reason why you might go to the extremes of using uh, a mouse, you know, a tongue controller basically, uh, is for environments where you don't have a keyboard or mouse or even that you're sitting somewhere that you can use a computer like that. So we might think of applications like augmented reality or Google Glass type things where you want to have some sort of computer control but you really don't want to burden your hands with doing anything. Uh, using 
some other part of your body that's not, you know, uh, necessary to move around the world. I mean, you, you kind of want to be opening doors and things like that without interfering with your ability to, to interact with the computer. And if all you get is swipes out of your tongue, that still might be kind of a win. Okay, see you next time. Bye.